Hello, what's good? What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Smile. We are here today, man. It's it's just a blessing to be able to wake up and be in the land of the living just one more day. Uh, somebody always can be in a worse position than you, or somebody wants the life that you want. So it could always be worse, but just be thankful and grateful. And I am thankful and grateful for today um, that I'm able to share some information with you guys that could probably, and maybe, and I hope it could be a help to you. This video is not for entertainment purposes. Well, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial or legal advisor. As I make these videos, they'll get better and better sometimes. Um, I get a little tongue-tied or caught up on words, but I'm learning how to be a better speaker. And uh, you got to conquer your fears. Not saying that I have a fear about it, but sometimes I just, I don't like the way I speak, but I'm learning how to be a better speaker. And the way you overcome that is um, by doing it more. So that's why I just want to have a conversation with you guys and just overcome some of my fears my fears, like I said, overcome some of my shortcomings and to be able to share some information with you. But I want to thank you guys. Uh, continue to share, like, subscribe, questions. They're welcome. But today I'm just going to talk about when you're going after these funding, which there's funding everywhere. And there's so many different credit unions. And a lot of people be like, oh, well, you have all those banks. Yes, I do. I have a lot of different banks, uh, people who I bank with. Um, I bank with, I got maybe like four credit unions. But when you're filling out for these credit cards and you're also filling out for um, BLOCKS, which stands for Business Line of Credit, or uh, you're going for a personal loans, or any type of funding. And when you're starting up your businesses even when you're doing your LLC on your application, you guys got to be uh, careful what you put down. And you can even Google some things, or if you have an inside person or you know a banker, even ask them. Some of this stuff that you're putting down is getting you denied. It's getting you denied on your for your business loan or... Uh, any type of funding you're going after because it's high considered a high risk business, which means the banks are in fear of loaning you the money because the business might fail is a high risk. Some of you guys are saying, oh, well, um, I, I'm a credit repair artist or um, I'm a real estate investor. And I know how many people think, oh, real estate investing is not high risk, but it is certain parts of real estate is not, but you need to do the research and find out. But certain things are, you gotta know what to tell them. Even if you may do be a real estate investor, that don't mean you gotta say that. I would tell them, you know, something like, I'm a business consultant. I help businesses uh, get funding and maintain funding, those of that nature. So you gotta do your research and make sure you're telling them putting on your application the right thing because the smallest thing can get you denied from getting funding. And then another thing that you could do as well is some of us are in credit hell, which is you got your personal credit is all maxed out and you don't know what to do. Your utilization is high and you can't get any funding and you need to pay those things down. You need to pay it and get your utilization down. And then once you do that, you need to start a business or open an LLC. Uh, some of us have these car loans as well on our personal credit. I was listening to some guy on YouTube and it kind of really made sense to me. He said he don't put nothing really in his personal name. Everything is in his business name. So even if you do have a car, you might start off the car may start off being in your personal credit, but you can move it over to your business name. So that way it won't affect your uh, your utilization on the personal side and it'll help get you out of credit hell so you can achieve more funding. Because I always tell you guys, you got to keep your personal credit sexy. You got to keep it A1 and intact at all times 
so you could go after the business funding and uh, the business credit. And then once you get on the business side, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. But I'm not saying not pay it, but of course you could you could have higher limits and higher utilization on the business side because that's where you want to have the utilization or in case your business does fail or it's not doing good in a quarter or a semester or something like that, you don't want it to show up on your personal credit. You're going to take a big hit and let's say the business goes under or it don't work. You don't want it to affect your personal credit. You want it to affect and that utilization to be high on the business side. So that way you still could get more funding on your personal side. Cause they're gonna, you, you, when you go after business credit, they're gonna PG it. You're gonna have to use your personal credit as a PG stands for personal guarantee, kind of like a co-signer. So you could get more funding if you leave your personal credit sexy <laughs> and go after more business where you may be maxed out with this business to, a credit card in that business, the credit card, it's not gonna affect you getting another business credit card because your personal credit is still intact and it's still sexy and you can still do what you wanna do. So some things you guys should and you can do, my recommendation, you could just move. If you have something in your personal credit that's high or high utilization, move it over to the business side. Like I said, there's all type of stuff and um, it's not illegal, little tricks and stuff you could do to get past things, um, to help your business grow. And you could do other business ventures as well with the money. Um, you can even put a home, because I remember I even uh, I got a hard money loan and uh, I was in the process of purchasing a home, but uh, it was gonna be in my business name. It wasn't gonna be in my personal name. So it wasn't gonna affect my business, or my, my personal credit at all. So guys, when you're going for this funding, make sure you're putting in the right stuff in the right categories and you gotta really make it make sense. Don't be too fast or if you want 50,000 or 100,000, well, when you anything over 50,000, you gotta be ready to submit documents as well. They probably gonna want the last two years of your uh, income, your W-2s, which some of you guys have that, which is fantastic and great, or they're gonna wanna see some type of uh, income once you get, or once you start wanting uh, more amounts of money and higher amounts of money, which is, it should be your goal, but it might not be everybody's goal because everybody's journey is different and everybody's investments are different. But eventually, you're gonna want your business to uh, flourish above your imagination. And uh, you can get, there's so much funding out there, why not go af after it and, uh, without spending and utilizing your own money? All debt isn't bad debt. Some, that is uh that is can actually be be great it's just how you use it and what you use it for you know what i mean it's it's not hard just take your time think about things and make your move and like i said you could get into real estate you could pretty much do whatever and if some people get into crypto uh I mean, uh, stock investments, there's so much in things you could do uh, with this money. But that's your decision, you decide. And look up your, what are they called? The NACIS or whatever codes for when you're filling out the apps. And like I said, make your, your income's gotta make sense. You can't be asking for 50,000 or 100,000 but telling them you only make 20 or 30,000 or if you only make 20 or 30,000 because you're not gonna get that. And most of the time when you're getting credit cards, a credit card company is gonna see what other credit card companies have given you and they're gonna give you based off of what they have given you or it may be a little less, it may be a little more. They're gonna look at 
everything you tell them what's on paper on your application so make sure these applications are filled out correctly when you're trying to obtain funding uh, this is all a part of uh, the funding and getting high high limits and the difference between high limits and a low limit man thank you guys for watching i appreciate you have a good one